Nope. And they will all nope. get stuck in your head. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We got that new Masters of the Universe uh, series. Oh, he Field. Was? Yeah, yeah, that worked out really well. Yeah. No, there was. You see the new one that was announced today? <laughs> nope. After uh, the first one, the already? Switch that was the first <laughs> one, I stopped caring. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is it, are they doubling down? Is it even more stupid? <sighs> the premise is okay, I guess. Like, it's not gonna. It's not gonna please longtime He-Man fans, but I don't know the art style and just the wonky proportions of the characters. Just like, yeah. Like, there is some merit to try like fleshing out the the non-main characters, like secondary characters. But also, you got to do it in a way that like people actually want to see, and not be like, hey, by the way, we're taking away this thing right now that we know you like. But, uh, you know, look at the other shit we've done, because I think you'll like it, too. Like, fuck you! I came here for this, why am I staying after taking a walk? Yeah... Like, I, was I wasn't even ask in- ask what happened, but I don't think I want to anymore. Eh. Do you remember- okay, so, were you things. there for the- yeah, it's- it's about, uh, Masters of the Universe, so... It's not a big deal? Mm. Nope! Yeah, so basically a lot of people uh, are pissed that Masters of the Universe was kind of just a bait and fucking switch. Yeah. Because all the marketing for it was like, oh, hey, look, a fucking He-Man's coming back. Guys, look how cool it is. We're bringing back He-Man and all these cool characters. And then they immediately killed off He-Man. It's like, yep, nope, it's not actually In about He-Man at all. Episode. In, like, the first two episodes. Of it. And... Yeah. The way they- like, I wasn't even here for the show when I was watching it with people. Like, I was just there, you know? And even I was like, okay, that's anticlimactic and disappointing, the way they pulled that off. That's just a pure dick move. Yeah, it's like, a fucking bait and switch. Like, I have- Literally, like, why would you fucking market it this way to, like, get everybody hyped up for the return of this character that has been so fucking universally loved? And then just be like, nope, 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 not- actually not about him at all. Get fucked. That's that's well, just the Simpsons bully watching people watch and going, ha ha. I mean, same. It's like, no, I, I have nothing against the people who are enjoying the new series yeah. and shit, yeah, like same. more power like, to them. But, like what you but like, but mm. like, there's merit to the content, but also, <laughs> like, I don't off. like being deceived into dishonest. thinking it's one thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, like Fuck. when you watch trailers for a movie that are all based in this one way, and then it turns out that was like. Everything from the trailer is like from the first five minutes with a few leading sentences from the rest of the movie. Oh, and Jesus! And it's completely different that from how it was actually. That's literally what happened with fucking Masters Brave. of the Universe. Because everything in the trailer that they fucking showed was literally from the first episode, like the first 20 Damn minutes it. of the episode. AKA, the only fucking time that they had He Man in the fucking show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, these yeah. leading trailers. Uh, oh, hey, Will. Well. So yeah, deceptive uh, marketing practices. Turns out people don't fucking like that shit. Who? Yeah. Hey, Will, Will, Golden Fox is streaming. We have uh the will. The will to live. We have the will to live. Come you have the will. Live. Do you have a want of me to live? The, what? What do I do? <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. Was there no way before? No, there is no. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think there's really. I don't. There. Uh, yeah, just check. There's nobody named Way next to me. Oh <laughs> no. Where there's no a will, way. there's not a way. Yes, was. You show up to work one day with like, hey, we've got you a partner. What? Yeah, his name's Way. Can't go anywhere without him now. Why? Because well, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I do a we? Oh, do you know the way? Pat, remember what we were saying know, earlier about comedy? I know Dave, I know D way, but I do not know A way. Yeah, we had a comedy. We had a comedy. <laughs> what about it? This... <laughs> There's more no, people I... in the chat like that now. 
Just wanted to bring attention to it as well. Nice. Yeah, she's like, she can't handle certain <laughs> jokes. I'm like, you're sitting in a call with me, Riley, and Master. I, I can mean? handle certain jokes. Yeah. It was, I was, I, my biggest fear with that movie was that if they're, if they were gonna go low with the joke, I'm wondering if they're gonna continue going low or if go If it's gonna lower. be a gateway, yeah. Yeah, that's my biggest fear. It's like, I don't mind the joke itself. My whole thing was like, it, it looked crammed, it looked like it was forced, and my biggest fear is that for the next ep uh, for the next movie they're gonna force more jokes and I'm gonna be scared. Mm. Ooh, ooh, because ooh, everything's ooh, gonna be Fortnite Coming nice. from a past Sonic fan. Nope, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Woo! Sent our world. This is satisfying. This is satisfying. Nope. Miss. Miss. I still can't go with it. The, the, no! The oh! Avengers. Shit. The fucking Avengers had a Fortnite thing. Yeah. Wasn't there a discussion just the other night about, um,. Some big Star Wars plot point being put into Fortnite extremely arbitrarily. Ah, yeah. damn it! Yep. So basically, in yeah, <laughs> during the events of Rise of Skywalker, it was in the little opening title crawl sequence that Star Wars always have. Yeah, basically, they just came out and said, yeah, by the way, fucking Emperor Palpatine, who is dead for three fucking episodes because he got thrown down the fucking shaft of the Death Star, which promptly blew up afterwards, by the way. Uh, fucking, yeah, he's back now. Just, just cause he's here. He, he's the threat. Bye. And there was something... Was it explaining it or forewarning about it? And it's like, it, oh, where's the message? There were multiple clones at so You him. just ha had to happen to be on Fortnite yeah, in the right, there was a, yeah, at the right time to hear like a broadcast in the game. Yep. And Fortnite has no association with Star Wars or Disney. Like, no. Nope. No Kaboom. continuity or connection between these things. Wow, uh, is the game like playing for me? I mean, Jesus. Is it? No, I mean, like, I keep, like, getting bounced back and forth with oncoming springs. Well, fight them what? with autumns. Huh. Uh. No, wait! I know what you need to do! You need to fall! That'll fix it. Whoop! It's true. <laughs> Whee! Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. No! I missed it! Ah, damn it! Damn it! Ugh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Shut up. Damn it, damn it, damn it! You're a supply room! Robot chicken. How are we gonna. How are we, oh, yeah, it is. Ah, how are we gonna try to save, like, take over the world with a white Michael Jackson anyway? Damn it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the aliens, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Now that was my introduction to Robot Chicken. <laughs> I love how they did that Armageddon parody. Oh, with Dara Smith? Ford. Yeah. yeah. And they made Harrison Ford go... <laughs> And he's and he's being played by Mark Hamill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Christ. it's Mark Hamill playing Harrison in a robot chicken sketch. <laughs> oh, it's you Mark again! He probably had fun doing that. He probably did, yeah. <laughs> probably enjoying the hell out of himself. <laughs> ah, fuck. I know he also um if I'm correct, I think he also played uh, Chucky in a Robot Chicken sketch. Yeah, well, he was yeah, also yeah. Chucky in the Chucky recent movie. Child's Play. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. No, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we call a character reprisal. Yep. E e reprisal. Yeah, well, Reprise Robot that shit. Yeah, well, in Robot Chicken, he played the Brad Dwarf Chucky. Uh, this... For the for the remake, he did his own. Hmm. 
Oh, this is different. Okay. What the hell? Wait, do I have to bounce around it? It's different. <laughs> Ow, fuck! You gotta do some thinking. Oh, no! Ah. Thinking? Oh, but that requires effort! So is running your you. fucking mouth. We don't need thinking, we need elite gamer skills. Shit, so, so, question. What is stopping hmm. you from just being directly underneath it, where the shots would just shoot out? Oh, you? it's gravity, because it's moving up. Yeah, oh, there goes gravity. So there we go. Just underneath hover it. underneath it. Where okay, the there we go, there's the strategy. Ah, yeah. damn it! Okay. Gotcha. There you go. And you can't do the same thing over and over and expect different results. That's a, that's called insanity. And it's the definition of insanity. The definition of insanity. I'm not Please crazy. Stop. No, it's doing the exact same thing over and over you. and expect a different result. Damn it. Damn it. I still have no idea what they were thinking in that game. It was just like, Voss, by far the best villain of any Far Cry game. Yeah, well, oh, it's like, like an, he dies halfway through, and then we're fighting... Who was it again? Hoyt. Oh, okay. Hoyt. 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 I, had, was Hoyt. I had nearly There's 18 Hoyt seconds Hoyt. left. I, I, I barely remembered Hoyt either, so yeah. T. Fernandez, hold on a second. T. T. Fernandez, the reason why it's blinking is because if it reached ten minutes, it, it's it's its own time limit, basically. Yep. If you take longer than ten minutes in a two D Sonic level, then uh, Sonic just fucking dips off screen because he's tired of waiting. He's got to go fast. Don't have no ten Whee! minutes to waste. Here. Gave you the eye too. Jeez. Gives you the stink eye. What was the reason again why time just... limits were made? Uh, the game's all about speed, so therefore completing the level in a certain time sets the pace for the rest of the game. No, I meant like in any game, like in a Mario game, there's a time limit. In some uh, beat em ups, there's a time limit. Because time trials uh, were popular back in the day, I guess. No idea why. Uh, because it basically forces you to play a little bit more intensely, and you're. Basically, you're forced to demonstrate your skills under pressure. That pressure being time. Whoa! Okay. Let's let's check over here. Whee! Because, like, if you think about it, a lot of the times whenever you play video games, you can probably do the time trial just normally without even thinking about it. But once you see that timer on screen, that's when you start making mistakes. You're like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I only got three minutes. Anxiety. Oh shit! Right, Golden, give, to give you an example, you know the fucking drowning theme that you hate us all because we keep mimicking. Yes. It's like you know how it stress, you know how it stresses you out. It's basically, it, that's the whole thing. That's the flashing timer. <sighs> okay. Point made. But the last thing I need is to have. Oh shit! Oh crap! <laughs> Never mind. Last thing you need is shit. Last thing we need is shit, that's true. The last thing I need is fucking bullshit! I mean, in the justice system, that is the last thing you need to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the last thing you now, before you die. local supermarket for your rewards card. Just remember It'll to save floss you 10% on fucking goddamn bullshit! Fuck! <laughs> oh god, what, what was that? What was that? Game Grumps. Game Grumps. God, the uh, Battle Kid. Caught murdering a man named Steve. I refuted the I police that I had anything to do with the murder, but the police said, "Wait, wait great Steve? Wait, wait, then why are so you why standing are you above standing the dead above body?" The dead body? <laughs> Special Agent Bob and Secret Agent. I had an Steve. idea for what I'm gonna do during the next Among Us game. Oh really? I so yeah. I'm still like I. It's supposed to be coming out soon, but uh, the submerged map that somebody made. I hope that one's fun. I haven't I'm sorry? played Among Us in so long, because nobody invites me to play Among Us. But I really want to play it again. 
It's it's either Among Us or Golf with their friends that we always have too much fun playing. Whoop! And there goes my chance of going to that checkpoint. Didn't need it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Also, I wish there were easier ways to install like, in mods for Among Us, because some of that stuff just looks amazing. Honestly, what I think would be really cool is if the devs just released a community modding kit so everybody can just make mods. Because once you hand modding tools over to the community of a game, at that point the game essentially becomes timeless. Mm -hmm. Because at that point you pretty much have a never-ending stream of content that is generated by other people. Like, that's that's one of the that's... reasons why custom games in Halo were so fucking popular is because yes. people would always just make new shit. That's mm. crowdsourcing the game's replayability. Company benefits, players benefit. Fucking TF2 does it too. So you're basically fighting like, their mod. What well? Huh? Say again. Well? We need you to repeat uh, yourself. You cut out. I think he died. He's mute oh, right no, now. No, Will's dead. Hello? There hey. we go. Hello? What'd you say? Yeah, we didn't catch it. You're cutting out. <laughs> no, you're cutting out. No, you're, you're cutting, cutting out. out. No, Discord, you. can you please no, not be a shit? It started to function I think probably. On no, you hang up first. No, oh, Jesus. I think I'm in a weak signal area. Ah. I understand. Yeah. Is, is he on mobile? Yeah, probably. That's why. So. Probably. Yeah, dude, that's what I said. Oh, I didn't catch it. My bad. I have yarn. Yarn is good. Are you, you going to spin us a yarn? No. I'm going to unspin my yarn so I can nip it. Nip, nip. Beautiful. I still love that cute picture of um, the Alicorn, uh, your Alicorn of C doing a, like a little knitting while she's like got a smile on her face. Yeah, she's yeah. she's in a nest of yarn balls. Yeah. So cute. It's my I feel like that sometimes. Oh that's... shit! Shit! Ooh, that was close. It's on my phone because I love it so much. Instead of Kirby's epic yarn, we need Myth's epic yarn. Yeah. Uh, I remember Kirby's epic yarn. I could cover my queen size bed like one and a half times with all the yarn I own. Kirby is just one of those type of games that you don't want to un damn it you don't want to underestimate the whole like kitty like nature sort of thing because it's all bright and colorful. Because in a matter of speaking, the abilities that Kirby has is fucking brutal. If you look at the background of any Kirby game ever, you'll find some fucking horrifically dark shit. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, this it, is like, mm, like, mm, 